There he is. Hello, you. Did you go for a swim earlier? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yes, have you got muddy feet now? He's stopping to have a jolly good lick. So this is Vutomi, and it is Tundi's eighth leopard of the day. That's not bad. I don't think I've ever had a day where I've seen eight different leopards in one in a 12 hour period. So it has been a truly leopard filled day. Leopard luck. Tundi, you have to stay. You may never leave now because you clearly bring us some kind of fortune. So this is little Butomi, the son of Inkanyeni. And at the moment, he apparently is doing what Butomi does best, which is a Chelonian hunting. Now, we've seen Hosanna do it before. Hello, gorgeous boy. We've seen Hosanna do it before, where he's climbed into the water holes in search of terrapins. Butomi, in fact, every single time I've seen him or heard about him be being seen in the last few weeks, he's been eating some kind of shelled creature. When I first saw him, the very first day I saw him, he was eating a tortoise. And since then, I've heard multiple reports of him hunting terrapins. And it's easy. And I think for the first time in his life, he's experiencing some tough times. His mum in Kanyeni is recently, has recently come back into Estrus and has been seen mating with the dominant male in this area, Quarantine. And I'm not sure where she is. She might be out hunting, but it is actually due for her to start mating with quarantine again if her estrus cycles have normalized. So she could be off with another male, not with quarantine, she could be up off mating with any male at this point, which might explain his desperate need for hunting shelled creatures. <laughs> Hello, little boy. Little Vatomi. Whose face, I don't think he's actually sad, but I think he's just got quite a sad looking leopard face. Big innocent eyes. Vutomi, meaning life. So there you go, you've met Tundi, the loved one. Vutomi, life, named because he disappeared apparently for quite an extended period of time, and everybody thought that he had died. And it was a really, truly lovely surprise when he re-emerged once again. His sister, unfortunately, did not make it. So we had a chance to see the two of them together when they were a little bit younger. Unfortunately, true to leopard statistics, his sister just didn't quite survive. We don't know what killed her. We will never know. But there's so many threats out here for these young leopard cubs. Luckily, now at, what's he, 15 months of age? He's now at the point where his survival rate will definitely have increased. But it's still tough being a young male leopard, searching for your territory, a place to establish yourself. Look how muddy he is. Right up to his chest. Oh, it's been an exhausting day. All that swimming training. And really, like any cat, he's not relishing the feel of dirt all over his fur. Time to have a jolly good bath. I just want to check quickly, and I apologize for this, but I'm not sure that I have any way of doing it other than to straight up doing it, which is to ask Kirsty if we have comms. And Kirsty read my mind. Comms test, yes, thanks Kirst, all good here. Perfect comms. Oh, Susan, I'm oh, sorry, let me just double check that I've got this right. Do you want to know if anybody's ever seen a fishing leopard? Yes, um, I think, I assume you mean leopards fishing in dams for fish. Yes, absolutely they do that. We've often spoken about the opportunism of leopards and in particular it was notice noticeable with our during our drought when the water holes started to really dry up and turn into mud and the catfish were left stranded catfish or as we call them in south africa barbel and although i don't think we had a live sighting of leopard hunting catfish during that time lots and lots of photographs started emerging of leopards going in after the catfish themselves 
So leopards do occasionally fish, usually really only where you've got a shrinking water hole and it's slightly easier for them. And of course you get things like the Asian fishing cat that are actually not here. I, I would have thought that was relatively self-explanatory, but just to clarify, the Asian fishing cat does not occur in South Africa. But the Asian fishing cat that can actually fully submerge itself in order to go fishing. Now that's something very, very cool that I would love to see. All cats can swim, they just don't necessarily like to, but it seems as though Hosanna and Votomi both showing a tendency to try and catch fish.